Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at modifying curves. So curves are very important, they're the starting point for any good design. If you can get your curves uh, in good shape then the rest will follow. Okay, so we're able to create our curves quite nicely uh, with controls in our sketching environment, okay, our 2D planes, and in the new version we actually have that in the 3D environment as well. So we have good control over 2D curves, but when it comes to uh, modifying curves in our three-dimensional environment, it's actually not so um, simple or not as easy as in our 2D environment. Okay, we can set up our curves in the 3D environment um, with dimension constraints, kind of like in the sketching environment uh, with 3D, three-dimensional uh, constraints but it's kind of a um, lengthy process. Essentially, we would create points in 3D space that have a um, Z, Y, and X parameter. And by tweaking that, we can modify the position of the point. And we do a bunch of points, and then we can place a curve on this. Okay, what I like to call creating a skeleton for our curves. So that's one way we can create our curves in the 3D environment and have control over them. But it's not very dynamic and often we may have a curve that we just want to modify quickly just its positions a little bit and this sometimes is not so easy in this software. Okay, so I'm going to create a three-point curve just with this uh, front orientation. So just drawing the points anywhere. The first thing we notice, since we're in a front view, okay, all of our points were placed on our plane axis, our viewing axis, sorry, our viewing plane, and our curve is uh, thereby drawn on our front plane. Okay, so all the points were placed on this front plane. Okay, so that's one thing just to be aware of, that our uh, points are placed on our viewing plane. Okay, so let's look at two methods to modify this curve. Uh, the first way is to use our modify command. Okay, and we can pull this up by double clicking on the curve itself or by using this button here. So we can double click on it and we're seeing our control, our points that make up our curve. Okay, this is currently a three point curve and we are able to tweak and move these points like this, dragging and dropping, we can change the direction of the uh, tangency and the magnitude and radius of the tangency. Okay, but it's not too uh, nice moving our points, dragging our points like this. Okay, we don't really have that much control in terms of our 3D environment. Okay, so this is where we can use our plane, our knowledge of the, um, the planes, our viewing plane, when modifying our curves. We know that our points are placed on our viewing plane. So if we are to come into a full view layout, okay, so we have top, side, and front, and then just an isometric view, we can drag our points and it's going to modify them in essentially our three uh, axis system. Okay, so we can kind of move them how we want in this way. You'll notice that when I'm moving in this front plane, we see that it's the point stays tied to the front plane when looking from the side there. Okay, you see it's not moving um, from left to right in here. It's staying constrained to that front plane. Okay, so this is one way uh, of modifying our curves using our three uh, planes, our three directions. Okay, sometimes I like to convert my three-point curve into a control point curve. Okay, when you do this, you'll see your points jump out a bit and you have these straight lines connecting them and a curve is drawn between that. Okay, these can be easy to modify sometimes. We have this modify position. We left click modify position, then we select a point, 
let's see, I want to select this point. Then we middle click and we're able to move it uh, again, staying constrained to this plane. Uh, we're in the top view and you can see it's moving in this plane only. Okay, see how this point is staying tied to this top plane. Let me just left click to drop it and we can middle click to return to our modify. Click on modify position again. We can actually pick multiple points. See we're picking two here, middle click and we're moving two at once. Left click to drop it and middle click to return. Okay, so this is one way we can uh, play with our points by using these three viewing systems, our front, top and side, okay? And move our points with respect to those viewing axis, those viewing planes. Okay, sometimes this is not too intuitive either though. So say we want to just move, tweak a, a small portion of our curve, we can use an alternative strategy. Come back into our full view. Okay, sometimes it can be quite nice to use just a morph. Okay, a morph with the point. We pick our entire curve. And then we pick the area on the curve that we want to modify. So let's say we want to move this point. I'm going to move it out a bit along this y-axis. So we pick a point. Then we specify our direction. We want to move it along the x, uh, the negative y, sorry. And we can then create our offset distance. Okay, you can see we're moving the entire curve here. So there's one more thing we need to do, and that is decrease our influence. Okay, if we change our influence, we're changing the area affected by this move, this modify. Okay, so this is another way we can modify our curves, and this has a bit more preci precision about it than the uh, previous method. Okay, but it could be more time consuming. Okay, so we have the morph with point. Again, we can pick multiple points to morph with. Okay and changing our influence to change the area affected. Okay, so there are two strategies. You have the morph with point and you have the uh, full view layout to move our points. And you'll see what I mean when you come to want to modify a curve. It's just not always that simple. Okay, yeah, this is one thing. When you do a morph, you're going to be changing the structure of your curve. And it's going to add in loads of points so you may wish to do a reduce point and just reduce the number of control points. But anyway, what I was saying is you should notice that it's, it can be kind of tricky to just move like this. Okay, this is not the most ideal way to move modify curve. It's not very precise. Okay, so that's two quick methods there. I hope they're useful.